Hello and welcome to uh, another installment from uh, Design in 3D. Um, in this video, what I want to show you is, is a fabulous technology developed by um, Ironcad, which we'll be demonstrating here, um, which is called uh, Boolean Feature Retention Technology. Um, I don't think that's trademarked, but it should be. Uh, basically what it is, is um, allowing you to Boolean parts um, or shapes together but retain each of the parts features in the in the feature structure um, for any of you have have used maybe CAD key in the past which was more or less a boolean modeler where you basically were taking parts to chip away parts or to add material to parts and so on and so forth um, space claim is um, similar to that as well where you, you're relying on pushing and pulling on on, on stuff uh, I'm trying to think of some of the old CAD programs that were more or less Boolean models. CAD key was the only one that comes to mind. But all all CAD uh, programs today do have some sort of Boolean function still embedded in them because it, it, there is obviously a need for it. Um, the problem is with most CAD programs is once you Boolean something, it more or less becomes a dumb part. You have to kind of resort to maybe explicit modeling or uh, continue on boole Boolean modeling your, your model after you've done it. Um, you kind of lose a lot of the intelligence you had built into your parts to begin with. So most people try to stay away from Boolean for that one fact. And it's a shame because it could get you out of a lot of binds and sometimes. And uh, I, ha I just simply uh, quickly created this, this part, these two parts here to kind of give you an example why a Boolean is still uh, useful in today. Um, you, l you look at here, I have a pink part and a, a pink spindle and a blue plate. And on this spindle, I have this spline that goes through the plate. And this is actually arced to just make it more dramatic. And you, you see, if you try to model this part as a single part, could get a little hairy, I guess, when you get to the to the plate part. Yeah, where you stop it here, where you begin it here, you're gonna continue the arc properly. It could become a nightmare. Um, so this, you know, whether this part is realistic or not, it just it definitely demonstrates why you would want to use boolean in this case. So we, here we just took the two parts. I'll show you what I mean here. High and unselected. It was much easier to just add this feature to this part without having to worry about the flange, right? So, we'll turn on the seam browser here, and you can see we have the two parts. We have the flange and the spindle, okay? Um, and getting back to the subject here, this Boolean retention, um, let's just get down into it. Most, uh, the three common Boolean functions are... Uh, Let's just pick one here. We'll pick um, pick the one part, pick both parts, and you have three Boolean operations here. Well, IronCAD gives you three, and most CAD models will give you the same three. Uh, a Boolean union, which is going to basically join the two parts. A Boolean uh, subtract, which means um, the second part selected will be subtract material from the per first part selected. And you have a uh, Boolean intersection, which means wherever the two parts intersect, that's what's going to remain. Okay? Uh, short description on Booleans. And th like I said, that's more or less the common ones. So in this case, I'm just going to join these two parts to show you. So uh, the first part you pick, and, well, let me just say, uh, pick the first part, hold the shift key, pick the second part, and let's Boolean. And you see now it becomes one part. Uh, the first part you select is uh, it's going to um, basically drive the parameters for the entire part. And if, and, you know, if uh, then it's going to adopt the name, it's going to adopt any material properties, weights, densities, whatever. It be, you know, that's how that works in IronCAD. So the first part you select is going to be the master part, so to speak. Um, so now we have one part here. You can see it worked beautiful. Okay. I can, if I put my feature, I can see I, I got access to all my features still here. Okay. It's beautiful. Um, 
and how IronCAD handles it and like I said it's the only product on the market that does this is uh, you got all your features for your spindle on its in the um, structure and then here's the disc part and if you expand that there's all the features for the disc flange okay so just to give you an idea of now let's say we had to change the arc on this um, spindle uh, what would you do in, in a boolean model? Boy, you would have to delete this part somehow, get it back, maybe you save the copy of it, f you know, edit the spline and then re-boolean again. And, you know, that's it's almost impossible to do. Uh, it's not going to say it is impossible, but it's, it might as well be. Uh, but with IronCAD here, you don't have to worry about it because it maintains all the feature for you. So right here we have a, um, a turn feature which I want to just continue, I want to edit its cross section. Let's fit it to our view here. And I'll be a little dramatic about it. Let's say we want to take the arc and bend it in a little bit and then just drag the profile down. So you can see we're going to cut a little bit more off here, okay? Just finish. Everything updates fine nice and clean and fast all right don't get it into production next all right so I hope this gives you a good understanding of, of this boolean re feature retention technology because it's a godsend if anybody's been out there and been in this predicament who doesn't have this can uh, understand where I'm coming from with this um, so I hope uh, we shed some light on this subject uh, if you have any questions uh, you could actually email me uh, at in, uh, sorry at Tom at magnacad dot com, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. I uh, hope you find these useful and keep your eye out. Keep your eye out for more. We're gonna. We, there's plenty of technology here. We're gonna show you. All right. Have a great day.